Hello everyone, my name is Jason and in this video I'm going to show you how to recode or transform a continuous variable into ordinal categories or in other words into a, an ordinal variable. Now the variable that we're going to use for this example is age and the data I have is age on a continuous scale and it ranges from 18 years old to 88 years old and in this method of, of, of transforming we're going to be using uh, percentiles as our, our, our determinant for uh, the interval width and there's two ways that we can do this one we can ensure that each group we have is going to have the same percentage of participants okay so uh, however many categories we have we just want to make sure that in, in each category there are the same number of participants so that's going to determine exactly our what our interval width is going to be now the other method you can do it is just to say okay I want four groups okay I want four groups and within each group is going to have the same percentage of individuals as well so it all comes down to percentiles and sample size. Now let me open up my SPSS window here. And you can see we have our age variable. And we're going to create a new variable that is based on an ordinal scale. So to do that, I'm going to go to transform. And I'm going to go to visual binning and I'm going to drag age into the variables to bin box and I'm going to hit continue and here I'm going to type in the name of our new variable and I'm going to call it age grouped percentile because it's based on, on uh, an equal percentile or an equal percentage of participants in each category and here again you can see the minimum and the maximum and you can see a frequency distribution graph of the variable age and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit on make cut points and now we have one option here equal width intervals if you look at my other video you'll see uh, how to do that part but I'm going to click on equal percentiles based on scanned cases and what that's going to do is no matter what I put in any of these text boxes is going to make sure that I have the same number of participants in each category. So in this case suppose I just want three groups. Well three groups that's, that's, that means I'm going to have two cut points, right? Two, uh, two slicings down the pie. And it's automatically telling me that I need or I'm going to have 33.3% .3 of my uh, sample in each group. Now suppose I want uh, five groups and thus four cut points. Well it's telling me I'm going to have 20 percent in each group. 20 percent of my participants in each group. Or alternatively I could say oh well maybe I want 23 percent of participants in each group. Then it will automatically tell me I'm going to have four groups otherwise known as uh, th or three cut points. Maybe I want 45 and I only get two groups. Maybe I want 50% and again I get two groups. That makes sense, right? You have the upper 50% and the lower 50% and that cut point would likely just be our median. So in this case I'm, I just want uh, four groups so it's telling me I'm going to have 25% in each group and I'm going to hit apply and after you do that remember you're always going to want to hit make labels so it's going to automatically populate the label column and again always pay attention to the upper endpoints here I'm going to, I always generally use the included uh, option so we're going to be uh, including this upper limit variable uh, value in this group which is what we want for the most part and I'm gonna hit OK and again here you can see the cut points right so we have four groups and three cut points so I'm gonna hit OK yes here's our syntax 
And here's our new variable. The values have been filled in. And again, you always want to do a little, uh, little assessment of what's going on here. Let me just reset that. Um, let's uh, let's get a chart. Okay. And there you can see now we have our four categories, and the widths, the interval widths are not equal. However, the the frequency is about equal. We have 121, 111, 120, and 110. And you'll see the percentage is, is close to equal. So SPSS won't make it exact, but it will get as close as it as it can, basically. So if you have any other questions, please feel free to message me. If not, stay tuned for my next video. Cheers.